Okay, back again. That did not work the way I wanted, so I'm going to do this just like the first time, and hopefully I'll be better with reading comments live. Eventually I want to try and get this so I can uh, use a laptop next to me to better read comments or questions, and then uh, make this, well, hello, uh, Cutter, Cutler, thank you. <laughs> uh, if you're just joining me, Mantic59 here, trying a live stream test. Um, oh, thank you, I appreciate the comments already. Uh, I can't hardly read them though, unfortunately, because it's on a little smartphone. I'm working on a setup where I can put up a, another webcam next to a laptop so I can look at the laptop and read questions and comments but meanwhile, that didn't work the first time I tried this just a few minutes ago. I ended up having somehow two streams, one from the laptop and one from the uh, smartphone. So that didn't work at all. But uh, I'm going to try this anyway, as long as I got everything set up. And uh, would appreciate after the uh, stream is done, if you'd leave comments, let me know if this is something you want me to do more regularly. Uh, or if something maybe in particular you want to see on a live stream, and I will make it better. Uh, today, this uh, How to Shave Live Stream of Consciousness, I guess I'm calling it, is uh, going to be using a few different things here with a DE. Uh, the damn race? I don't know. Sorry. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm confused here. Um, anyway. Uh, I've already washed my face, so I've kind of pre-done that, and I'm using uh, Grooming Lounge Face Wash for that. I'm using a, a uh, Pure Badger brush from uh, West Coast Shaving. I'm using, actually, a sample of the new Barrister and Man Reserve, uh, which uh, works really well. The first time I tried it, I'm going to try it again. And for a razor, something a little different. This is a clone DE from Carol Wright slash Dr. Leonard uh, catalog. And I had done a video a while back about the last razor, and this is the last razor. Looks an awful lot alike, only uh, the last razor is much heavier, much better put together, in my opinion. And I got kind of taken to task by a uh, reader of that uh, video saying, hey, the Carol Wright Dr. Leonard razor is actually pretty good. Uh, don't give it such a hard knock. And to, uh, to kind of satisfy my own curiosity and his, I actually ordered another one. This is a new one I got from, uh, from them just a few weeks ago. And the other one is several years old. This one, uh, is actually a little bit different than the uh, original one in that it's a slightly lighter by about five grams. Um, feels about the same and I've loaded it with my usual uh, Iridium Pulse Silver blade uh, just to give this a, a shot here. So I'm going to do a how to shave with a DE razor uh, comparison shopping, comparison shaving if you will with uh, some other some other things to compare and contrast. So, excuse me just a second while I, while I wet my face and get this Barrister and Man sample going here. Barrister and Man, for those of you who don't know, is a very well-respected brand with shaving soap. Unfortunately for me, it has never worked particularly well in my hot water. And Will knows that from Barrister and Man. So he's been tweaking recipes. And uh, a while back, he released his Lava line, which works much, much better in my hard water. And then he came out with this Barrister's Reserve in, I think it was in May at the uh, Maggard's Meetup. So uh, I'm going to give this a shot. This is the, uh, what version is this? This is the classic uh, scent, which to me smells kind of uh, kind of spicy, a little bit like, uh, maybe like Spike. 
and I'm just kind of palm lathering it in my hand because I just scooped the sample out of the uh, of the little container and sticking it in this West Coast shaving brush. And it does lather much easier than his previous uh, his previous line better than lather much better than his original line this is actually coming up very nicely I am using a slightly drier brush so I can so I can add just the right amount of water and playing with For those of you new to traditional shaving, if you're just using goo in a can or a, some kind of gel, I think if you use a brush and a lathering soap or cream, you will discover no matter what razor you use, that your shaves will improve dramatically. And as I said, I'm using this Barrister and Man Reserve for the second time, actually this per particular scent the first time, and it's coming together very, very nicely. Uh, I'm quite pleasantly surprised in my hard water. And as you can see, I'm just smoothing it out now because I have a huge multi-day growth. I have uh, not shaved for several days here, so... Uh, we, sh we shall see how this all works out. To be, <laughs> to be on the safe side, one, thing I other, one other thing I got here for this shave is the new Glide Aftershave stip, Stiptic Pencil in case I get a weeper or a nick or something. This is just out. Uh, really good stuff from, from the little bit I've played with it. And I actually hope I won't have to play with it much this time because uh, that would indicate I'm having a terrible time. So again, with a with a double-edged razor, or maybe I should just say a single edge, a single blade, one blade in here, no cartridge with three, four, five, six, seven blades, you can actually get a decent, very good, some say better, shave if you just use a little technique and kind of adjust your learning curve. One thing I am going to do here is because I have a, a fairly significant growth, I am going to go with the... Uh, grain of my face, uh, the way the, the, the stubble grows on a one pass, just to get the bulk of the pass off, and bulk of the stubble off, I guess I should say, and uh, reduce it in stages, reduce the, the, the lather, or reduce the stubble in stages so it's more comfortable. And it's also a ton cheaper. Uh, a, a, one of these blades costs, you know, on the order of maybe a quarter depending where you get it, rather than 350 or more, uh, depending where you're going. So my particular grain, and yours will probably be different, my particular grain goes down this way, and uh, over the, oh, I'm kind of by the side, and then down in the middle, and then up kind of over here on this way. So I'm going to kind of, kind of uh, shave in this direction here. And the key to using one of these things just like really any other razor, is a very, very light touch. You just want to let the weight of the razor do the cutting for you. Some, most of the new razors these days have a pivot which helps compensate for too much pressure a little bit, but only so far. And you really need just a gentle touch to get a good shave. I know it's kind of counterintuitive, everybody wants to press down, but the, but the actual fact of the matter is the lighter the touch you have, the better razor performance you'll get. And as I'm shaving with this Carol Wright Dr. Leonard razor, the performance is just okay. Uh, if I were to compare this with the last razor, 
of that previous video, and I'll link it when I record this uh, on the uh, on the site. Uh, this this is a better performing razor in my opinion. This isn't bad for the price. I mean, it's I think it was like ten bucks, and it does the work. But I can tell it's made from much lighter materials. Yeah, and I actually gave myself a little weeper there. So the glide will come in handy. And another thing if you are interested in double-edged shaving is that the angle of the blade is something you have to deal with on your own. It's manually done. So I will demonstrate that here in a second. But again, I'm just kind of getting the worst of the stubble off without being too awful concerned about how close I'm getting. I'm going to quick make a rinse here, keep my, keep my, uh, my face wet. And make another another lather for another pass to get even closer. And you can see if you're looking closely, I don't know how good the quality of this stream is, but you may notice that the lather is just a tiny bit thinner than the first time. And that's okay. I want it to be a tiny bit thinner in my case because it'll cut ever so slightly closer and still be comfortable and safe. So the second pass I'm going to do is going to be across the grain. That is 90 degrees from it. So if I'm going this way for the grain, I'm going to go this way for my actual pass right now. And this is also a good way to demonstrate the, uh, the angle to to give a razor, a double-edged razor, if you're unfamiliar with it. The easiest thing to do here is just make it so the handle is parallel to the floor. Rock it down just a tiny bit until the blade just makes contact. And then gently glide it along, adjusting the angle as necessary. To maintain a proper angle on the skin depending on where you're shaving. And you also notice I'm taking relatively short strokes here, which makes maintaining that angle a little bit easier and a little bit more consistent. And yes, if you're looking closely, you see I have a couple weepers. That is from this razor. This live stream may be a mistake. Maybe I'll uh, not uh, save this. Maybe I not save this video after all. I don't know. We, we shall see. In any event, Glide will get a workout after this after this shave is finished. And of course, it doesn't help that I'm talking in the middle doing all this too. And as I go around corners, you'll notice I take even smaller smaller strokes to do this properly. And underneath the nose, I'm actually going to go outward here. Since the grain is down, outward would be across the grain. So again, another relatively quick pass. Stubble is reduced a little bit further. I'm going to kind of tempt fate and try an against grain pass, which may be something I really shouldn't do under the circumstances, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. And again, I'm, I'm, uh, taking another pass with this Barrister and Man. I'm actually going to squeeze a little bit out of it and just smooth it on a little to cover a little more thickly because I think I need a, a thicker 
a thicker uh, lather on this last pass because this uh, this razor is not not my best friend right now. First time I've tried it. Probably one of the last times I've tried I'll try it because I trust me I have a whole bunch of razors that work a ton better. Oh, speaking of razors I, that work better, my last let me grab this. My last live stream, my first live stream, I, I did it with the uh, one blade core, and I mentioned I was using dry blade uh, to help uh, extend the life of uh, the blade, and it's actually worked out pretty well. I can normally get like two or three shaves out of that feather blade that comes with the core one blade core razor, and. <laughs> Using that, I was actually able to get five uh, pretty decent shaves out of out of that one blade. So I was very pleasantly surprised. That um, dry blade is coming out with a Kickstarter. Uh, I think actually very soon. I'll link it up to this video when it comes out. So it's worth a look at. If you've got a single edge, you know, one side of a, a, a razor, whether that be a gem, injector, uh, feather, single side, or any cartridge razor, uh, that's something to look at. Uh, it, it does seem to extend the life of the blade by, it's basically a desiccant, you know, it, it dries out the edge of the blade. And I'm sorry, I'm really not looking at any of the comments here. I wish, wish I could, but it, it's just not working the way I want. I'm cut up enough already and don't, don't want to make it even worse. Uh, I'm going to stop at this point. It's, it's pretty, pretty well reduced. The, the, I'm maybe not baby's butt close, but sure, a, a darn enough adequate shave for me under the circumstances. I'm going to quick rinse off here. And yeah, I think I'm going to use this glide after all. Let's see how this thing works. It's basically a styptic, but with some other ingredients in it. That's supposed to cut the, coagulate the blood quicker than normal. Tiny bit of a sting to it, but not bad. And I'm giving it kind of a generous little tweak here just to see what happens. Well, you know, actually, <laughs> actually it's working pretty well. Uh, definitely better than a standard styptic for me. Uh, a little bit right there. So, uh, Glide, G-L-Y-D-E, Glider, G-L-Y-D-E-R dot I-O on... Uh, on the internet is the uh, is their website. So let me just uh, give myself another quick rinse, get the rest of this lather off. And I should mention that. For those new shaving, uh, when you rinse off from your shave, I suggest going with warm water first. That gets off all the little uh, lather residue that might be on. If you leave that on there, if enough stays on, you may find yourself getting like little white pimply looking things that's actually clogged up, uh, clogged up pores. And, and especially if you're a teenager, that can make it a lot worse. Uh, for a aftershave, let's see what I have here. I'm going to, I got right, okay. I have Grooming Lounge Aftershave, which actually is pretty good. Uh, and what I like to do is a quick cool rinse, leave my hand and my face relatively wet, and just a little dollop of shaving. Aftershave is really all you need because the wetness of your fingers and the face will help glide that 
shave bomb evenly over the terrain, if you will, the, the, the skin. And you'll, you'll need less aftershave, you'll need less product to do an adequate coverage. So, all in all, not my best shave, not my worst shave either. Um, sorry I didn't uh, read the comments more. I see people, people commenting, it's just that it's just too small to read on my, lap, on my, uh, on my smartphone. Uh, I think I am going to try this again based on what I've uh, seen so far. I'm going to review this video and uh, see what I can't improve and tweak on. And this may become sort of a monthly event or maybe even every other week, I don't know, uh, where I can take, uh, take questions and uh, kind of guide people through technique and uh, see if they can improve their shave some. And in the meantime, be sure to uh, check my website at sharpologist.com for a lot more information about shaving and a little bit more about grooming as well, mostly about shaving though. So uh, I appreciate everybody's time. Again, this is Mantic 59 and it's been 20 minutes and I hope you've uh, had an interesting time. Thank you.